Hello! In this short video, we will look at importing data from Excel to Tax1099.com. To start, you will log into your Tax1099 account, which is free to sign up for. This video is to teach you how to upload data using Excel. So I'm going to select the Import tab on the left and then select Excel Spreadsheet. Here, you will select the type of data you wish to import. For this video, I'm going to select 1099 miscellaneous. You have two options at this point. You can download the template we provide, which already has the right column headings needed for import, and then copy and paste your data into that template. Or you can import an Excel file you have already created and match the column headings in your spreadsheet to the fields in tax299.com during the import process. For this video, we are going to imagine that we have already downloaded the Tax 1099 template and copied our data to the right columns in our spreadsheet. We also have some incorrect data in our spreadsheet so that I can walk you through the process of correcting errors. Once your Excel template is complete, you will go to Tax 1099 to begin the import. When you're ready to upload your data, select Import and then Excel. At this point, we are going to select 1099 miscellaneous and then select our Excel files and click Next. On this page, I'm going to first select the tax year in the top right corner. If one or more of your entries on the Excel spreadsheet does not match the field names in the database, we are given the option to map them here. If the field has a red box around it, then it is a required field for import. If the box has a yellow highlighting, then it is not a required field. Clicking the Next button will bring the data into our platform. The edit grid displays what we are importing. We are hoping for all green circles, meaning the data is good. If any data fails, it is indicated by a red dot. Notice that the dot besides our payer name is yellow. This indicates that one or more records for that payer has an error. We only have three records on this page, but if you have more records, your files may be spread across a few pages. You can display a thousand files per page to help with the review process. You can also click the filter icon to view any records with errors. You would just click filter and then the red circle. Any vendor you want to create a 1099 for needs to have a green circle next to their name. The button that says download error list in the top corner will download a list of all records that need to be fixed in your source data or else next year you will get the same errors that come up when you try to import. To correct the errors we see, Click on the recipient name to make the corrections. It looks like the state was missing, so we can select the correct state and press update. On this one, it looks like we entered an incorrect social security number and we need to fix that. Now I'm going to remove my filter so that we can see all the records again. We now have a green circle beside the pair and recipient records indicating we no longer have errors. At this point in the import process, you can use the edit button on the far right to change box number or amounts if needed. We are reviewing the data in real time, so changes you apply are seen right away. You have the option to select multiple recipients or all recipients for the payer and use the apply to selected recipients option to change multiple box numbers at the same time. When all your updates are complete, you can export to Excel or move forward with the process by selecting the applicable payers to import and clicking Next. Note that if your data in the Excel file that you are importing into Tax 1099 is clean, then your process would go much smoother. We allowed errors in our sample file so that you were able to see extra steps just in case. We talked earlier about how you might have multiple pages of data that you are working with. I want you to know that if you select this box that says Select All, it will select all records across all pages of data to import. I will now click Next, and a message will be received that all re records uploaded successfully. And now here's Logan to introduce us to the View Edit Submit Forms page. We have now completed the import process. Your next step would be to submit and pay for the forms. At this point, I want to clear up what your options are on this page. The scheduled date is the date that your forms will be e-filed with the IRS. Most people set this date to someday in the future so that they have time to go in and edit the forms if needed. 
If you select the state filing box, it will select any state that needs to receive a form but is not a part of the combined federal state filing program. If the state you are filing with is a part of the program, then your file will be sent to the state when you e-file with the IRS. We have resources in our knowledge base explaining each state's requirements. 10 matching costs $1 per file or $150 for a bulk 10 match. A 10 match will compare your forms with the IRS records and alert you if you have any errors. Many users will use this feature and then have the ability to go in and make corrections when they find out about errors. The reason they are able to make edits is because they set the schedule date out in the future and the forms will not e-file until that date. The email recipient button will allow you to email each of your recipients a copy of the form. For this, you will need to have their emails, which as you can see, we do not have. USPS Mail is an option that many users select because they want their recipients to receive a hard copy of their form. Tax 1099 will mail each of your recipients a form for $1.50 per form. These will be sent out when you submit and pay for your forms so that your recipients receive their copies as soon as possible. After you have selected everything you wish to select, you are ready to submit the forms and pay. To do this, you will select the forms you wish to submit. If you want to submit all forms on this page, then click the Select All button in the top corner. Now you will press Next, which brings you to the payment page. That is all we have for this tutorial.